Hell and Doom is just horrifying. It's ancient and threatening and, and violent. Uh, it's a nightmare. I was really inspired by these huge monolithic structures that are kind of broken to the point where you can actually see the energy that's holding these structures together. I thought like, what would this energy sound like? And how could I use that in the music? I came up with this idea of breaking sound down into its kind of bare bones components, which are sine waves and noise. I then pulsed rhythms of sine waves and noise through vast arrays of analog equipment. So the idea here wasn't to use the analog equipment as an effects processor, even though that's kind of what it's made for. Basically, I'm using the circuits of the equipment to corrupt the pure sine waves and noise. I found a bunch of interesting equipment that did really interesting things to any sound that I fed through it. An old reel-to-reel -reel tape machine, old cassette machines with crappy cassettes. I found all sorts of old guitar pedals that were really bizarre and obscure and did all sorts of weird things to the sounds. Electricity is a real tangible thing. You've got electrons bouncing around on a circuit. And when you capture that, you're capturing a real energy. I found a old Soviet synthesizer from the 80s called a Polyvox. It's really big and heavy and over-engineered and it weighs a ton. It's full of character. I don't speak Russian and operating it is kind of a bit of an adventure. But I really love the sound of it, it sounds real. 